This playthrough is rated E10+. Sega. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdor are back here with uh, one of my games from my many collections. Uh, I'm going to play something a bit different for a while while I wait for the mail to come in and another game to uh, pop into my inventory. Yeah, I, I was messing around with uh, some of my rental games and I uh, wasn't able to get one of them in early enough to start recording it for it. So I'm going to pop this in for a few, few uh, <coughs> episodes for a bit until I can get my uh, other project finished, so let's uh, play some uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Obviously, we're going to play the games in it, but uh, this is the PS3 version of it. Um, most of the modern versions are going to be about the same for the most part. I don't know why it keeps wanting to upload trophies every time. It's already done that. I've already loaded this game up multiple times in the past. Way to... For, unfortunately, I don't have my Sega Genesis anymore, so this is, uh, this is one way to get other than through emulation. Um, this has quite a lot of few good games on it, uh, obviously, I'm just gonna play something and kind of run with it, uh, um, for now, since, uh, let's see, although weirdly enough, I grew up more mainly with Nintendo, I did get a Sega sometime after the Nintendo, and I liked a lot of the games from it, but I'll admit, I probably liked more of the Nintendo games overall, but, uh, at least Sega Genesis wasn't a straight copy of Nintendo, it had its own, kind of its own game, sound, design and so forth and so on so you got to respect what they had to go with um so yeah a lot of a lot of classic games here but i think what i want to play right now is i want to play something that's just kind of a little bit i want to say mindless but something that just you just kind of go and play so we're gonna play golden axe yeah classic from the yonder days of old what does it say uh, 1989 was when it was made oh boy i think I, I think i don't think i originally owned this game i think i i uh rented it from a blockbuster if i remember that oh boy that's old school right there yeah i don't have a second player to play with sorry loner gamer right here hardly play with anyone so anyway let's pop in some golden axe and let's see if let's see how hard it was back in the day whoops sorry there obviously for a game like this you can uh you know update your life meter and stuff like that i'll probably just play as long as i can until i die and then uh maybe i'll come back and uh um See, that'd be easy mode. That'd be hard mode. Now uh, let's go. Uh, let's go normal. Let's go middle. I think that'll be fine. Just to uh, do some four life bars. I wouldn't say I'm an expert. So uh... actually, I'm trying to remember if the uh... whoops. Sorry. Well, we'll just pick it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot what the dude's name was. I think his name was like Thunderblade or something like that. Or oh, what was his name? I used to know the name of the characters. Um, and then we got. I think his name's Thunderblade or something like that. I could be wrong. And then we got Tyria. I think her name's like Tyria or Tyria. Um, but anyway, we so we got your we got your Conan type of uh, analog or, or similar. You know, the barbarian type. You know, Skippy Underoos, boots, and a sword. Boom. He's your. I think he's your kind of. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think he's your uh, balanced character. If I remember correctly, like he's good kind of. Uh, with magic and weapon, kind of balanced either way. And then we got uh, Tyria. I forgot where her last name was. She's more of the speed character. Uh, and I think she... Well, not so much speed, but she has... Magic is her big thing. She has a bigger pool of magic than the other two. Uh, and then we got... Uh, oh, I, his name's Thunderaxe, but I forgot his first name. He's the, he's the staple. He's the mascot of Golden Axe. And he's usually the one that carries the Golden Axe, or at least in the later versions of the game. Uh, but yeah, I remember his name being Thunderaxe. This is the guy I always played with. He's basically your heavy melee. Very little magic, but he's more into power. But either character could work. But I like playing as Thunderaxe myself. Um, yeah, in this game, we are... See, Death Utter invaded the castle and has taken the king and princess prisoners. 
My good friend Alex was also killed in the battle. To defeat the... Uh, uh, quickly, peace to the land is my duty! Alright, let's do it. We ready to go? Ready to go? Okay, let's do this. Okay, we got B. Let's see. Or X in this case. X square or circle attacks are either one. Because, you know, the second chance is why I had three buttons. And triangle is magic. We only have three spots for magic. Alright, let's see if we can... Alright, uh, sometimes you can combo... One of the ways to, like, not take a ton of damage was either to, like, either just swipe at dudes and before you get to combos, or... Oh, yeah, old-fashioned Sega Genesis, uh, uh, you know, mature rating, even though this game came out before the ratings, uh, you know, thing. Ah! He hit me. Got me. Got me good. Yeah, good old-fashioned Sega Genesis screaming. You, I don't think you catch that in most uh, official Nintendo licensed games. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. It's basically a hack and slash. I mean, for... I wouldn't say one of the first... Get over here. Get, there we go. Give me that magic. Give me... I'm kicking little people. That's right. Give me that magic. And uh, the magic is... Your magic is affected by how... What like what range you're in. Uh, it's just at the top where you see like a 1, 2, 3. Um, your magic is a strong or has different effects depending if it's in the first slot, second slot, or the third slot. Get off that. I want my weird scorpion bird thing. Whatever that is. Either way, we get to ride it. Yay! All right. Yeah. Yeah, this game had a lot of uh, different things about it. It had hack and slash. had rideable mounts that you could ride throughout the whole level if you got lucky. Although the bad thing about, uh, about the animals is that they only will stay around so many times. If you're knocked off, I think, like... Yeah, I can't really do much more with the magic because I already... Thunder, Thunder Axe only has a... Uh, so many slots. Like I said, if you play as Tyria, she has the, I think she has the most slots with like five or six or something like that. It's a lot. And then the Thunderblade or, I know that's not, I know Thunderblade isn't the dude's name. I just can't remember what it is. This game doesn't show their names. You have to look at, ah, uh oh, boss time with, uh, all right, let's see if we can keep him from knocking me off again. We'll kill his little dudes first before. Yeah, I gotta be careful of being too far away because the the AI will... Yeah, okay. So that was like three or four knockoffs before before they ran away. So, but yeah, if you stay too far away, the AI will actually uh, actually uh, charge at you. It's actually kind of... AI is not completely stupid. So let's see let's see if I can beat these guys without dying. Usually bosses will are life life chunkers. You know they'll take off a lot of life, but uh, I might be able to beat them, especially now that I have my animal companion. Well, I mean I'll beat them, but you know what I mean. Maybe I'll be able to beat them without losing the. Oh, I did it! Ha! I didn't even use any magic either. Ah, uh, time to what the? You little so and so, get over here! Get, give me that magic. It's my magic. Yeah, you're not taking my magic, you little imp or elf or whatever you are. I forgot what they called him in this game. I could probably look up all the enemies, but I don't remember. Remember, I played this in the Sega Genesis, and there is an arcade version of this game. The arcade version, um, a sworn enemy death adders in this castle will take a shortcut through the turtle village. It's the same dialogue no matter who you choose for the most part. Um, yeah, got a little map there. Yeah, the, if I remember the first, the arcade version looks a little cleaner, smoother. Um, I think more enemies, a little bit more difficult, because obviously it's based off the arcade, and, you know, the arcade, quarter guzzlers, you know. But, uh, maybe I should have put myself on three bars instead of four. Nah, I know this game gets harder down the line, so. What if I could, yeah. Yeah, the bad thing, the cool and bad thing about this game is this game actually has ledges you can fall off of, so I have to be careful, because I can be knocked off too and insta-killed. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show off. You can also jump and attack, which is another way to kind of, like, try to, uh, separate your enemies or not get attacked, because enemies can combo to... Yeah. yeah, I knew he was gonna... Enemies are gonna do that if I... I don't think I could get... Oh. Just like... Ah. Uh, yeah, combo you. But yeah, one way to try to not get attacked is by, like, ah! Oh, they're just running away with the generic, with their uh, weird screech. Ah. Oh, got a new ride now. Haha. -ha. Sorry, busty babes. This dragon is mine. Or dragon-ish. I, I, I'm not really sure what it is. Ah, no, I'm going to waste my, I'm going to waste my, ah, don't, ah, dang it. I wasn't trying to actually ride it. I was trying to, like, go over it so I could get to them. Nuts. Oh, well, that's fine. We can, ah, no, ow, ow. Yeah, they can... Enemies can do da double team you if you're not careful. <coughs> It'll actually hit you. They'll actually start knocking off your life because you don't... Um, you don't get... Uh, 
like invincibility, I should really be using my magic. I keep getting more magic, but I'm not using it. I keep thinking I'm just gonna be able to handle it. It's like grenades in most first person shooters. I, uh, oh, we're at, where are we at the boss already? Oh yeah, I forgot this game's kind of short when you think about it. Well, short-ish, you know, comparatively, but I think that's why I chose it to be my game to play. Oh, are they the boss for this one? I might actually end up using my magic, so. Ah, let's go ahead and show it off. This is level three magic. Thunder, thunder, thunder hammer, or thunder axe, go! That does a decent amount of damage. Ooh, we even beat the, beat the two ladies with axes. Oh, there's more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh skeletons. Are they Ray Harryhausen skeletons? Man, those things are creepy. Uh-oh. Ah! That's lost a life. Shouldn't have, but I did. Oh, well. Yeah, I should have saved I forgot. I forgot. Ah! See? Look at that. They just don't tag me. Ah! Oh, I forgot the dragon has multiple forms. Or multiple, uh... There's, like, the breathe straight flame, and then there's the little fireball variation of him as well. But yeah, three or four knockoffs, and then that's it. So, whoa. Kind of got to love that old-fashioned Sega Genesis, uh, that little, uh, like, blitz or whatever you want to call that. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't lose my life. I was hoping I wouldn't lose a life till the third or fourth section, but oh well. Ah, more imps! Get out of here, you! Get, get. Oh, this one drops meat. Ooh, thank you. Ah, get, get over here. Ah, you can't, you can't run away from the dwarf like that, you scoundrel. Yeah. I mean, I could maybe if I die, maybe I'll switch to another. I know you only get the village was the village was on the bright back of a giant turtle. The turtle takes us south across the sea. Ooh, look at that a little turtle. Turtle, too turtly for the turtle club for you. God, I can't believe I make a reference to that terrible movie. All right, Thunder Axe, let's keep going. Yeah, Thunder Axe, I think appears in some form or fashion through most of the games. Uh. I mean, mainly being the mascot. Although he takes a back seat in the... There was a unique arcade... Well, there was multiple arcade variations, but there was one... Sp ah, nuts! There was ver one various arcade incarnation of... Uh, don't get on... Ah, you're going to make him run away! Okay, I need to get on before she... Ah! Freaking... Come on, lady, get off! That's my dragon! There you go. Ah! Just keep just keep burning her! Burn! Burn, baby, burn! Disco! <laughs> Disco Inferno. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful here. Uh, okay. You can just straight jump. You can also dash jump. Um, I might be able to just straight jump up here. Oh! Uh-oh. Get up. G give me that. Give me that magic. Ah-ha! Sent to the pits of heck itself! There we go. Um... Yeah, a nice, a nice, uh, a nice way to, like, kind of make sure that the riding animals don't uh, break the game is making them disappear only after so many tries to... F oh! Guy, you were boss in the first level! Now you're regular enemies! How dare you do such... Oh! I didn't mean to charge at him. Yeah, you can actually charge at enemies by uh, double pressing uh, forward twice. And, uh, yeah, I gotta be careful. If I, if I knock them too far away, they'll start charging me. Luckily, apparently, they can just run through the fire. Hey, alright! Bosses are now easy to kill. Alright, well, not easy, but you know what I mean. If you know what you're doing, you can get through this game with that with taking very little damage. Yeah, this game does get harder. It's, I'm not even I'm by no means an expert in this game. I mean heck, it's been forever since I played it before even recording this and I don't I can't I can't store any magic. Oh! Uh-oh. Looks like we're at a boss uh, fight or about to be at a boss fight or something. Yeah, I gotta be kind of, ah, nuts. Yeah, the enemies will try to get on your get on your dragon or don't ride my dragon. I've trained this dragon. I even made a movie about it. Okay, well, we're out of that. So. I didn't actually make a movie, you know what I mean? Which I've actually never seen those. I've seen bits and pieces of them, but I've never actually sat down and watched any of the movies. I watched a, I watched like one or two episodes of the TV cartoon show. It wasn't bad. Nothing nothing to like cry home or write home about, but hey, cool. Alright, let's see who the I beat these guys up and then uh uh oh! Whoa! A knight! Ah, you, let's use our magic. Why not? Thunder! Thunder! Which makes sense. His name being Thunder Axe. But anyway, yeah, we got a knight here, so we got a or some type of danger dude. So, yeah, I've noticed one trick to beating like bosses like this is to try to either jump hit them or try to like get them right out of their range, like this. 
Otherwise, they do like ton of damage to you, so you have to be careful. Obviously, this is a little bit easier now that we've taken out a bunch of his dudes. And he will, and most, see, look at that. Uh, most bosses will charge you if you're too far away to get in close. Yeah, I got lucky there. Yeah, just kind of, usually, like, ah, see, that's how tough they are. Yeah, I was hoping I wouldn't die. Oh, well. And of course, he was almost dead. Uh, of course. And we get the, uh, we get the health, uh, um, people, and I don't need it, you know? <sighs> of course. Only one potion? Come on. Man. Oh, well. I think the reason they give, uh, Tyria more magic is because she doesn't do as much damage with her basic attacks than the guys do, but... We have gone close and uh, we've gone in close to the vicinity of the castle, but the warrior is watched by enemy lions. We must dare the fiend's path to reach the castle. But, uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, but, oh, I was talking about the arcade before. Before, um, Yeah, I think Thunder Axe has been in most of them. He even was referenced in the uh, god-awful PS2 version. I can't, or was it PS3? God, I can't believe... I mean, I, 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 it was cool that they tried to bring back Golden Axe, but that was just not a very nice-looking game. It was pretty ugly. And I get what they were trying to do. They are trying to make it more... Like, based off the Conan series, or Conan books, or something like that, where it was all, like, desolate, you know, dark fantasy type of thing. And you played as Tyria, which was fine. I think Thunder Axe is, like, a supporting role in it, or something like that. And I don't even think that the guy, uh... Actually, I think that guy's name's, like, Tyrannus, or something like that, or Tyron, or whatever. But, uh... I think he also makes an appearance in the game, too, but he's not playable. You play as Tyria. Uh... Yeah, should have had Golden Axe, or should have, if you were going to have one character, it should have been Thunder Axe, because, just because he's the, uh, figurehead of the Golden Axe series, despite him never, well, it's, I mean, the reason it's called Golden Axe is because, actually, I'm not sure what the Japanese version of this game's called, but it's called Golden Axe because of the magical weapon, the Death Adder, who's the boss. I don't, I'm trying to remember if he was the boss in most of the games. I don't remember. Uh, I know he's the boss in the first two. Ah, no, 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 ah! Man, skeletons and their combos. Man, I'm almost at, yeah, see, the game's getting a little bit more difficult. Like I said, I, I give suggestions on how to play. I've never said I've, these are perfect, like, go-to. Although, really, I should rely on magic a bit more. Just because the game's giving me so many options for it, but two, it gets them off my back for a sec. I think we're at another boss. Yeah, these these levels are pretty short now that I think about it. Ooh, I got multiple ones of them. Nice. Yeah, I didn't get any uh, didn't get any riding beasts in this case. Yeah, I think we don't get as many closer to the end of the game. Oh god, nuts. I don't even. I'm just, no. Oh, you only get the two. Okay, well, we'll continue. Ah, oh, I was gonna swap out. Oh well, whatever. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna just stick with Thunder. So let's see how many continues I've. I think I've got three. So we'll have to try to beat the game with three continues. I have to try to play it a bit smarter. I think I, I think I've beaten the game on the well at the arcade. Obviously, I spent a ton of money because that was the point point of you know uh, the arcade was to suck up your coins without realizing. Yeah, you guys complain about games being too easy, but at least well, most games you get you get your full content with the full purchase. But uh, uh, I don't know modern gaming now. You know, also a nice thing about going back to a retro game is that, you know, with all the crap that's going on in AAA gaming these days, it's nice to play something that just, you pl you bought the game, you got your full experience, no, no extra bits and bobs, and you can come back and play it whenever you want. You don't need online connection or anything. And I know that's nostalgic talking, and that's, that's, uh, what's the word? Um, and that could be dangerous talk. Ah, God! Oh, God! Get off me! Get off! <laughs> Die! Man, did you see how many life bars they took because they ganged up on me because I didn't have any invincibility sp uh, spheres? Or whatever. You I forgot what those are called. When they, uh, I think those are just called invincibility slots where your character flickers or whatever. Which, ah, it's more famous than Mega Man. But yeah, the arcades did not have stuff like that because they wanted you to die quickly and keep using your continues. Or, you know, so you could put in more coins. Man, that was not a... Uh, that level kind of sucked for me. All right, let's uh, try to do better. All right, dude, I actually need your life this time, so give me that. Let's see. 
Alright, got that. Alright, on to stage five. See, I think. The Fleet's Path was a great eagle. We are taken across the skies to the castle. Now the final battle begins. I might be able to beat the game within the, within the uh, 22 minutes. I was going to just do this as a regular episode, 22 minutes, and then be like, all right, I'll get to the... Well, no, I know I have at least a couple more levels to go before the end, so... All right, well, you know what? Uh, you know, I'll just do this as one long video. If it ends up being super long, I'll just cut it and split it. But uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see how long it takes me to get through Golden Axe if if I do survive. Ah, I was comboing a foolish fool. Nuts! Ah, stop! I was trying to like get out of the way, and he kept cutting me. Uh oh! All my tactics! No! No! Man, this game is starting to beat me up pretty badly now. Oh, here we go. This is... Ah, you fell off. Nice. Ah, no. Ah, get, 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 get. ah. There we go. Yeah, get the get the AI to fall off. Of course, the same thing could happen to me. Man, all the tricks I was telling to like how to beat characters and levels is like now I'm not really utilizing it very well. There we go. Whew. That's nice to get a writing mount again for a bit. Help me out with that. Uh, yeah, better. Actually, if I think if I remember correctly, if you're on a writing mount, the AI is more likely to try to charge at you because of a, you know, the, the mount. Definitely makes the certain fights a little easier. I'll tell you that much. I'm trying to remember the PS3 version having anything about that. I didn't beat it, by the way. I just I was not interested in that game. I try to be. I really try to, like, I'm one of those guys that doesn't try to be negative about gameplay. Like, I play a game and I want to play a game. I don't want to be like... You know, I don't want to be that person that just, like, hates on a game before then. Although, most... Let's get these guys off me. Yeah, that's level number two. I want I want to get back to my dragon, so... Can't train in that well. Yeah, I gotta be careful. These guys have some decent range. They might hit my uh, hit me on my steed if I'm not careful. Um, but yeah, I, I really just try to play a game without, like, without crapping on it, you know, because you never know. You never know what, like, a game that's rated poorly might, what entertainment it might give to you, whether it be on purpose or whatnot, but, um, ha. Well, at least sometimes I can get it right. Uh-oh. The castle itself. Death Adder. Can we do it? Let's find out. Or at least can we do it on the arcade version of the game, anyway, so. Alright, and else left? Alright. At least I think I chose the arcade version of the game. Yeah, I gotta be careful. There's a kind of a boss rush before Death Adder. All right. Uh oh. Ah. Yeah, I'm trying to. Since I don't have a. Uh, yeah, I gotta be careful. Just because if I if I had a second player, it'd be easy to just get around these guys. But uh. Ah no! Got got. Yeah, I try not to, really, if I'm by myself, I try not to combo dudes, because, you know, they can just, because you don't get an invincibility sphere, so you're just, so you have to be careful about that, but I'm not really following my own advice too well. Alright, and we have to be, can't, don't want to waste all my, ah, nuts, yeah, cheap old bosses, nuts, and I got, oh, okay, we got, we got one more continue to go. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll be uh, we'll let death out or win. Yeah, how many hits do you take, dude? Oh, I was about to say one trick I can do. You can do is is charging them basically to try and get get in close, which is I always have trouble doing the double like using analog. Is that de oh death adder himself? Uh oh, he brought skeletons with him. Wow! Well, god! Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, that. Uh, Let's, uh, let's get some damage on those skeletons. We need to finish him off before we fight Death Adder himself. And he's got the golden axe. It looks kind of like copper to me, but whatever. Now we got... Oh, God. Yeah. He does damage. All right. Well, since that... Oh, oh careful. Oof. All right. Uh-oh. Ah! Whew. Wait. Did that skeleton just scream? I just realized that. 
Oh, cheap! Ah, oh, he's got magic too. Nuts. Ah. Woo! Don't touch me, man. Don't touch me. No means no. I'm, I'm a dwarf. You can't toss a dwarf. Dwarf! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to yell into that. I was just doing the duck man scream for some reason. That was a pretty funny show. I don't know if it holds up as well today, but... Actually, it might be one of those shows that, like, as crass as it was, it probably holds up. Ah! Probably holds up a lot better than I expect it to be. Yeah, one way to, like, get it close is just to charge him, and... Although, you don't do a ton of damage. Ugh, man. Death Hunter might take up take the most the rest of my lives. I might have to stop trying to do the analog here and just go with, the uh, Ah! And go with, the uh, And go with the directional pad instead, because I seem to have some slight trouble moving around when I'm using the, uh... Or try, like trying to charge. Yeah, I gotta charge him before he starts. Yeah, I can't seem to. Ah. I'm trying to like get under his like range so I can get in clutch, you know. All right. And obviously, be careful about him using magic if I get too far away. Ah, man. Ah, nuts! I was trying to charge there. All right, one more continue. Come on, Thunder Axe, you can do this. You got him. I was hoping not to use all these continues. I thought it was better than... Oh! You can also jump. Yeah, I was trying to get under his, like, swing. You know what I mean? Where you can hit that sweet spot of, of like, that, that you hit them before they hit you. All right! We did it! Ha-ha! Thunder Axe. Only dwarves can win the day. No humans or whatnot. Hey, there's the king who's upside down and the princess who's by her wrist. What would be worse, probably being put up by your legs because the blood would rush your head. Accept my utmost gratitude for our rescue. Well, thank you. You gotta give the dwarves all your money and all the land and all the ladies. I'm tired of ladies with beards. <laughs> I thank you for your courage, for you have rid us of the hideous death adder. But I have a feeling that he might have been taking orders. Talk faster, dude. Sometimes he did disappear into that door. What? There's more? Uh-oh. That's not good. Will you go into battle for me yet once more? Ah, uh, sure. I don't have any continues left, so... I'll try. Yes, my lord. A dwarf does what a dwarf does. Yeah, kind of lost all, uh, used all my continues. Yeah, stage seven. One more. Yeah, this is the hard one. I think it actually has platforming and everything like that, too. Oh, God. Yeah, see? Oh, and that didn't even fall into the hole. Come on, game. There you go. Oh, no, come on. <sighs> God, I am not going to get through this with my continues. Oh, well. I said I'd play this as far as I can. Oh, and a skeleton died off screen. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah, it's not that smart. Uh-oh, he's gonna knock me in. Oh, God, no! I say that, then I get beat. <laughs> Jeez. I knew my hubris was gonna come and get me. Oh, well. Yeah, oh, well. I can't complain. I per I jumped in the hole myself. No one else made me fall into that hole. Well, the enemies did, but you know what I mean. Get those guys in there. Kind of how you're supposed to. Survive. I think that's really how you're supposed to survive this section of the of the of the game. Is uh... ah no. I wonder if I could just use my magic get rid of them. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could hit the uh, imps with the uh, with the with your magic. That's funny. The same magic they give me is. Uh... I don't even need any more of your magic, dudes. Okay, don't don't make me fall off, man. Eh, right, well, we'll see if we can get to the final boss with, uh, and see how long we- Oh! No! <laughs> yep. You cheap pansies. Ah, then again, like I said, they're probably the Jason and the Argonaut the skeleton, so- Whoa! Okay. I wonder if I can get them. Whew. Okay. We can do this. Whew. We can get them just close- Ow! No! 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 I'm gonna die! <laughs> gonna- gonna bite. Gonna bite. Gonna die. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, that's it. And thus our game ends. Game over. Man, couldn't even get to the end of the game. 
Oh well, it was a nice shot while it lasted. Let's see how. I might uh, I might what I do. I might off screen try to get to the finale and do a bit better job with more lights and stuff like that. Uh, let's look at the intro again before I before I call it an episode. Let's see, could do the beginner version or the duel. The duel is where you do you know one against one. I might just raise my uh, life up to max. And uh, wait, does that improve your credits as well when you do that? Was uh was three giving? That's still four credits. So I thought there was like a uh, I thought there was like an option for uh whoops no that's not what I want to do. I thought I could uh oh I could uh save state and all that other stuff. Let's see. I was trying to see if there was like a uh, no I don't want to exit the game. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's my run of uh, Golden Axe 1. Um, I'll try to, uh, um, I might what I do uh, if I play this again for another episode because basically I'm trying to kill time until my mail game comes in. So I'll, uh, um, we'll see you in the next episode. Uh, let's see if we can tackle Golden Axe again, get to the final stage and uh, with uh, uh, more lives this time. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time, folks.